Good morning, y'all. <clears throat> Sorry. I feel like my voice is annoying and it's always like, hey, y'all. So I think I'm going <laughs> to stop doing that because I don't want to annoy y'all. Anyway, <clears throat> it is Sunday. I am on my way to get my hair done. It's been a long wait. Um, yeah, I'm kind of early, but I have to be there by 10, but it's like 30 minutes away, so I wanted to make sure I'm on time. I'm going to stop and get some breakfast, and then I will be on my way. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to show y'all the process and how everything gets done. Um, it's this lady I found on Instagram um, who I'm really excited to go to so pray for me I hope it comes out how I want it and how I envision it because my hair literally stresses me out but yeah so I don't know if I'm gonna go to Dunkin to get breakfast or Starbucks but I honestly I haven't been to Dunkin Donuts well, that's kind of a lie. I don't really go to Dunkin' Donuts anymore since I've started working at Starbucks. I'm just too loyal for that, I guess. I don't know. I literally go out of my way to go to Starbucks, too. Because there's a Dunkin' like two feet up the street. But anyway. I don't know, because I, I kind of want like a good breakfast sandwich. But I don't want the one that I had yesterday. So I don't know. I might just go there for coffee, but then go somewhere else for actual food. So, we'll see. Um... It is Labor Day tomorrow. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't think I'm doing anything. Honestly, I've just been kind of chilling solo dolo this weekend. So I'll probably be doing the same thing tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go see my babies today. But I'm not sure if I'll do that. Um, but you never know. I tend to surprise myself sometimes. But yeah. So, um, we're gonna go get us some breakfast and then head to get me a new do that rhyme, but that wasn't planned. I'm just that good. Alright. <laughs> I am so annoying. I need an oil change, but I'm not trying to get one this week. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> I'm annoying y'all. I just try to express or I try to tell y'all what I be thinking about and sometimes it comes out weird, but let's go. So I'm here about 15 minutes early. I stopped to get Dunkin' Donuts. Um I just didn't feel like going out of my way today. Um, but they're annoying. I asked for a, a small iced coffee. They rung me up for a cold brew one which is more expensive. I asked for vanilla bean iced coffee. They gave me um, French vanilla swirl or something dumb. I don't know. They're annoying. That's why I don't go to them. But anyway. So I'm kind of nervous. Oh, just email me. Hold on. I'm kind of nervous about going here. Oh, here it goes. So, I'm going to show y'all how I want to get my hair. So, two weeks ago, I attempted to do my own hair because I'm very impulsive and I can never wait to have it done by someone else or I can never just wait because you know how you have to schedule an appointment and all that extra stuff. So, I instead did it myself which I regret doing at this point because now I'm here trying to get somebody else to do it because obviously it didn't come out how I wanted it to. Um, I was honestly just going to go back to black because I don't know. So anyway, so I want to get my hair trimmed because I haven't had it professionally trimmed probably in I don't know how long. It's been a minute. Um, but I want like this ashy hold on let me zoom in you see this blonde color 
I want that, but I want it just on the tips. So, let me just see if I can find it. Kind of like this, but longer, of course, because my hair is longer than that now. Um, I even like this one, but I just want it on the tips. I don't want it over like the way I have it now it's not the right color and it's too much of it so overall this is kind of what I want it to look I am just slacking sorry overall this is what I kind of want it to look like you see how she has like the tips colored and the, the roots are dark that's what I want On this step, she blew my hair out that way that she could properly trim my hair. So that's why you see her blow it out first after the wash and the protein treatment. But it was just like, look, I need a picture real quick. That's what I have to do. Uh -huh. It's been a while since I had it on. That's to be like a twist out or something. Mm -hmm. At the most, it takes a pro and it's like, time to cut it. <laughs> I've been for about six months ago. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to it over. I felt like it's so indecisive about the color. I mean, that was the plan this time. I just didn't really get it. So I think I'm going to. I don't know, I might want to get some lace for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Like I always cut it again. Yeah. Look at it. My hair always grows back uneven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it tends to get more long like in the back. Or, yeah, like at the very, very back. 
but I don't know why. What that mean? Do you know? It's just like where it's positioned for your head, like hair, like cutting, stuff like that. Like the same as everything else, but it looks longer. So, I am about to get my hair rinsed. I'll explain later why. Just got the trim and it looks healthier. So I'm happy. the salon um, I have my hair in a cap as you can see my hair got colored red um, originally I was going for the blonde color I was going for the blonde color but when I had came in she, we did a consultation and she recommended that I not bleach my hair again because it did damage from when I did it the last time um, so instead we did the blow dry I'm sorry we did the shampoo um, conditioner and then I did a protein treatment and from there she dried it blowed it out clipped the ends because um, I did obviously have damaged ends but she told she recommended that before I go back for a blonde color to lift it again that I instead let it grow itself out so she did tell me that I could do a rinse which instead of it opening up my hair shaft so yeah i learned a lot um she said it the rinse will actually go on top of it instead of opening up my hair shaft which is not the most healthiest thing right now um she said the best thing to do is to allow it to grow out for it to be virgin hair again so um she said that based on the color that i had the best color to kind of tone it and to accept the color that i was going for would be a red um, so that's what you see here but this is actually a semi-permanent um, I showed her a couple of colors that I liked and she mixed them together and made them so um, from that I got it rinsed out and she put some leave-in conditioner but I'm gonna style it myself um, I was gonna get it straightened but the last time I had to straighten it didn't last that long so I'll probably get that the next time I come back to see her um, she was super nice um, it was my first time seeing her I found her on Instagram Instagram came through for me though but like she was super nice um, she answered all my questions she was super friendly like I definitely recommend y'all come in here so it's a salon with like eight stylists in there um, but I particularly picked her because of what I had saw on her Instagram um, but she was super nice um, I'll definitely tell Tristan and Mariah and Brittany about her um, but yeah so I'm glad I came and she, we even had like a nice little therapy session like I was telling her about myself and like where I'm trying to go with my future and stuff like that so she was definitely helpful um, she's very friendly and easy to talk to her name's Chrissy um, but yeah so once I finish it and style it I'll obviously show y'all what it turned out to be I need to put my earrings in because I look kind of crazy but yeah, so I'm definitely glad I came and I'll definitely be back. It's definitely important to me. So it looks super pretty close up. So yeah, let me put on my earrings so I can look a little more presentable. Watch my camera fall. And y'all, 
she even wrote down the stuff that I should get for when I wash my hair because I told her that I literally like I don't care about like shampoo and conditioner and I'm all about like the creams and stuff um she wrote it down like she's the bomb and she don't know me and then she gave me a hug when I left so nice I love good people oh you wanna be my baby let's rewind it I put my work before you so I got home and got under the dryer after I rolled my hair. It was my first time using it and it was super convenient and I'm glad I got it. Chrissy for helping my hair get back right. 